Okay, assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. So good day again everyone. So today we will be discussing about estimation of roots or estimating roots. So remember in our previous activity, we are actually just simply um, getting the roots of numbers who have um, whole numbers as your answers. So for example, we have the square root of 4, the answer is positive or negative 2. Same goes with the 16 equals to positive or negative 4. So these are actually whole numbers. And they are very restrictive, meaning they are only under the PSNs. Kung sila ay perfect square number, then you can get the exact value of the root. But what about numbers that are not under the PSN? What about the square root of 20? What about the square root of 12? What about the square root of 50? Okay. So how can we determine or estimate at least the values of the square root of these numbers? Okay. So for us to be able to estimate the following roots and take a note, they are not exact, meaning we are just simply approximating. So it's called approximation. It equals na n -ya. okay, n -ya, or the tile. Okay, approximating the roots will have this following process. Okay, so first one is um take the root, okay, and place it in the middle at least, okay, and then take the nearest, highest pinakamalapit, highest and lowest um, perfect square numbers or PSNs that is um, closer to 20. Okay, so basically take a number, you take a PSN higher than 20 and take a PSN lower than 20. Okay, so N, the PSN higher than 20 is just simply square root of, uh, of course 25. Okay, or simply square root of 25 and then the other one is the square root of um, 16. There are no other numbers that is um, that is uh, that would satisfy this um, condition. That is just one, um, some units up and some units down. Okay, so having this one, the first thing that we actually do is of course we subtract this one. So that is twenty five minus sixty. The answer here, I think it's it's nine. I guess it's nine. Okay, and then we subtract this one. 20 minus 16, the answer is just simply 4, okay? And then, of course, taking the num those numbers, it's 4 over 9, okay? And then, we will now try to um, approximate, okay? Approximation, the answer for the approximation would be like this, okay? It would have two parts. The first part is, of course, the whole number, and then the second part is, of course, the decimal. So, the whole, sorry, decimal. So the whole number part would be coming from the smallest, the smaller root, which is the square root of 16. The answer is of course 4. And then for, as for the decimal part, it would come from this one, which is 4 over 9. And evaluating that, it will give us of course 4 point. Let's try to evaluate what is 4 over 9. 4 divided by 9. Of course, 4 divided by 9 cannot be, so we add another ze a 0. Then that would be 40. And that would be 4. And this would be 36. Then we have 4. Then add another 0. We have 40. We have 4 again. Then we have 36. And if you will notice, this would be repeating. Okay? So this would be repeating. Paulit ulit lang. So 0, um, 0 0.4444 and so on. Okay? Since we are trying to estimate to the nearest hundreds, so this would be 4.44. But we are not yet done with that. Okay, you have to check first what is four what is the square of 4.44 okay if we will try to multiply this one sorry it's 4.44 times 4.44 the answer would be 19.71 so you have to check first before you finalize your answer so of course you will take this one 4.44 and multiply it to 4.44 and the answer there would be equals to 19.71 70, 1, 3, 6. And then of course that is not near 20 we can still increase that so what we will try to do is of course we will try to increase the hundreds part so maybe let's try 4.45 up until we get closer and closer to 20 okay but not exactly exceed 20 4.45 times 4.45 the answer is 19.8025. You can use your calculator for this one or manual. It still could be a little bit closer. Maybe let's try 4.46. 4.46. 4.46. 4.46. 4.46. 4.46. 4.46. 4.46. 4.46. 4.46. 4.46. 4.46. 4.46. 4.46. 4.46. 4.46. 4.46.
and then multiply that 4.46 squared or times 2 it's 19.8916 let's make it a little bit closer let's try 47 so let's say 47 the answer is 19.98 okay 9809 okay let's try last let's try 48 if we exceed then we will take the number before okay so 4.48 times okay squared the answer is 20.0704 so we have exceeded therefore we will not take this but we will take the number before so the exact i mean the approximated value of the square root of 20 is equals to sorry approximation positive or negative 4.47 and this would be your answer so again it's a mixture of this step this step okay and at the same time this step okay so kumbaga you will do it manually a little bit okay but then again you will be able to approximate the value of that number so maybe let's try what's the approximated value of 12 so again let's take 12 then some units above it um, that would be I think square root of 16 and then we have the square root of 9 then again subtract 16 minus 9 the answer for 16 minus 9 is just simply 7 and of course 12 minus 9 the answer is 3 so sorry so it's bound to be 3 over 7 and dividing 3 and 7 will give you an answer of 3 divided by 7 sorry will give you an answer of 0 0.42857 and so on and then what we will take is of course the hundreds lang so 0 0.43 okay so the, the uh, unfinished approximated value is of course taking this one the square root of that one is 3.43 this one okay so this one is not yet done you still have to check so 3.43 squared the answer would be 11.7649 still a little bit far from 12 let's try 3.44 squared so giving you an answer of 11.8336 increase a little bit because maybe maybe just maybe it could be higher than that so 45 will give you an answer of 11.9025 maybe let's try to increase one more just a step more again if it exceeds 12 then you go with your previous answer the answer is 11.9716 and lastly let's try 47 maybe maybe it would increase a little bit the answer is 12.0409 do not take this take the previous number so 3.46 that would be your approximated value of your given and lastly let's go to the last given which is of course i think it's 50 okay so let's take the approximated value of 50 okay so we have 50 then we have step higher than 50 that is a lower than 50 is i think it's 49 and this is 64 this is 4 7 and this is 4 8 and this is of course um fifth square root of 50 okay subtract 64 minus 49 and of course we have 50 minus 49 this is 1 and this is 64 minus 49 the answer is 15 giving us a fraction of if I can move this giving us a fraction of 1 over 15 that 1 over 15 in its decimal form you can either use your calculator or not 666 six, six, up until 7 so let's just use this one or we could use 6 point I uh, 0 0.67 okay so 0 0.67 okay so again the value uh the unfinished approximated value is of course you are taking the number before that's 7.67 7 
So let's try that. 7.67 squared. The answer is, sorry, is it 67? Let me correct here. Oh no, it's 0 0.67 pala. I'm sorry. So it's 0 0.7. 0 0.07. Okay, so this is incorrect. Okay. So 7.07. 7 7.07 7 .07 squared. The answer is 49. 7.07 .07 squared. 49.98. I don't think there would be any number greater than this. But let's try still. So it's 50.1264. Not the answer. Go with the first one. So it's 49.98. Or that would be 0, 7.07. And this would be your answer. Okay, and that is how you approximate the roots, the square roots of numbers on the nearest hundreds. Okay? So there are other methods that you will be able to see on see on the internet, but then again this one if this one works then let's stick with this one okay you can uh, search for them but of course um we will stick with this because this one is a little bit easier to understand it's just simply subtraction a fraction and then of course the psn okay so thank you for listening everyone and assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh